Hey YouTube, it's Fix It With Biscuit here. Um, we got our rubber grommet, uh, brand new, all shiny and good. So what we need to do is we got to put the filter line that sits down in the bottom of the tank in first. We gotta make sure that uh, it goes on like this. And make sure if you're doing this, you'll wanna make sure that you have the line out a long way. Because if this drops down on the bottom of the tank and you can't get it, um, you have to take the whole tank out and flip the tank upside down and dump it out from the very top. So I recommend that maybe you take a zip tie or something or tape or something and tape this end big so it doesn't slip through. Just, um, you know, a uh, little tip there because uh, I haven't tried doing this yet. And uh, from what I've seen is we're going to have to put it half of it in the hole and then take a screwdriver and push the other half in. And the hole is right here, there, right there. But we're going to go ahead and clean up a little bit by it and probably get a little bit of dirt in there but not much I can do about that alrighty now I'm, I'm gonna try and use tape is what I'll do and We'll just put a little bit of duct tape on it. And it doesn't have to be pretty. Oh, rip off there. There we go. Doesn't have to be pretty. It's just got to be able to make sure that it doesn't drop through like that. There you go. Just like that. And then you just take and feed oh well, let's move this other line out of the way first we'll push it up this way and woohoo doesn't want to stay anyways feed it in there that line is gonna be a pain in the butt isn't it anyways and then take a screwdriver you get halfway in there and you just push it in move this light she's a little warm and just like that you we got our new rubber grommet in there and then you can pull your uh, filter line up a little bit and then pull the tape off of it and plug your line that goes to the carburetor into it and then push that in which here's the line that goes into the carburetor oh she's got a little bit of gas in her still I'm going to go ahead and fix this camera here. I'm not sure. I'm trying to set it to where you guys can see and it won't fall over. And so we plug line in. Line only plugs in to, to this uh, nipple here. And then what this does is you push this uh, part in there and it makes the rubber grommet flare out so it won't just pop out and what we can do is push the line in like that Shove it in. Ugh. 
<laughs> Whew, that's a bear. That is a bear to push in. Um, it's probably because of that line. Um, but, Just gonna have to work at it. And as you can see, it's going in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push that on through. That's how you uh, replace that grommet there. Um, so stay tuned for the winch, me working on the winch. And I'll uh, show you guys what I got planned for that. I'm not going to show you guys me putting everything back together because um, it's the same way I took it off. The two bolts here, two bolts there, and same on the back. And then it just, you know, the two bolts for the foot peg, you know, pretty self-explanatory. If you took it apart that way, you know how to put it back together. But uh, I'm only going to replace the top one for now. Uh, because I can get to the, or the bottom one, sorry. I'm only going to replace the bottom one for now because I can get to the top one very, very easy. And uh, I have an extra one I bought that I bought from the Honda shop. Uh, and I'm going to leave it out because I bought some off of eBay and I want to see if they're the exact same. Because they had the special order these grommets for uh from the for the yamaha shop for me and the ones off ebay would uh were a little cheaper so i just want to see if they're the exact same so stay tuned for that and i will show you if you can buy these plugs off of ebay and they're the exact same or not so thanks for watching guys